Look, Jewish, she is here again. This is a real classic. This is the Fafel muffin. It's the closest thing to a muffin that you're ever going to eat on Passover if you're keeping the Passover. So you're going to want to know how to make this. And you're going to want to shop oily for Passover too because the, the Fafel, at least where I live, it goes out of stock real quick. So, you know, this right here, what we're starting off with is uh, two canisters of the matzah farfel here inside a, uh, a, a big metal colander. That's, that's step number one. Now the recipe we're using is uh, Bubby Stein's farfel muffins. You might even be able to find this on the uh, on a Google there uh, if you Google search that Bubby Stein's farfel muffins. But I tell you what, that Bubby Stein, that's my wife's Bubby. So you know this is a real family recipe right here. Now we've got the uh, the farfel in the uh, colander here, and I got about two quarts of really hot water. And we're gonna take the hot water and we're gonna pour it over the farfel. And the reason we're doing this is we got to kind of hydrate it, you know, to, to be able to turn this into some muffins that actually taste good and they're nice and chewy. So I'm gonna pour about half of it over there, and then I'm gonna stir the farfel around a little bit, and I'm I'm going to pour the rest. Now I'm going to pour in the rest of the water. There we go. We're just trying to get all the fawful and I, you know, a little hydrated so that our muffins aren't, aren't dry. Now while the water is kind of soaking into the fawful, we're going to uh, crack a dozen eggs and put them in here in a, in a very large mixing bowl since this is a double recipe. All right, I had to size up on my mixing bowl because I realized it wasn't going to be big enough. So I got my uh, my dozen eggs, I beat them. I'm going to add those into the uh, into the fowl here. We're going to start mixing everything together. You can also, if you want to, you know, you can put fruit in here. If you want to chop up some apples real small, that's, you know, that can taste good. We got uh, half a stick of, or sorry, a full stick of butter here. Full stick of butter that I melted. If you want to make it pav, you can, you know, you can use uh, vegetable oil instead. Alrighty, we're going to put in, uh, and this is a double recipe, so I'm doubling everything. Going to put in two tablespoons of sugar. Now, if your uh, if your particular brand of fawful tends to be uh, a little salty, you know you might want to go easy on the salt. I'm gonna one of the things of fawful I had it was tasted pretty salty to me, so I'm gonna only use a, a teaspoon of salt instead of two teaspoons. So we got a teaspoon of salt coming here. If you want it sweeter, you want to put some honey in, you know, you want a little bit of chopped up fruit in there, you, you know, you can do that. It, it is a muffin, you know. It's the closest thing to a muffin that you're going to eat on Passover, that's for sure. And, uh, everybody in our family loves these things. It's probably the most popular Passover food, you know, that people actually want to eat that's made with matzah, if you ask me. And I got one more ingredient over here. Alright, and then uh, we already did the hydrated step, but we're going to put even more liquid in here. I've got another cup and a half of, of uh, really hot water, boiling water that I'm adding on top of that. So that we get something that looks kind of, you know, as much as fawful can look like a batter, we got something here that looks like a batter. And I ain't saying it's no batter, but you know. It's about as close as you're going to get on Passover. So, that is the complete mix. And now we just got to uh, put these into uh, a prepared muffin pan. And then we'll... Uh, oh, there's the dog coming in. Uh, one of my kids thought the dog should make an appearance there. We just got to mix this around a little bit more. Get the water all incorporated in there. Make sure that everything's all incorporated. Mixed well, we're going to put them into a prepared muffin muffin pans. You can use uh, 
you know you can use them you know liners in your muffin tin if you want or you can just grease it real good if you but if you grease it you know grease it real good so that they don't stick all right so there we go you know I did happen to have some muffin uh, tin liners sitting around so I used them but you know if you don't got them no problem just grease the grease the muffin pan real good fill them up nice and tall you know, and then uh, as the recipe says, you're going to bake them at 375 for 45 minutes or until the, uh, the tops is crispy and getting a little brown. So me, you know, today I'm uh, baking these falafel muffins in my sun oven. It uh, takes a little longer than the regular oven because it, it don't quite get up and stay at 375. It's more like, you know, 325, something like that. But uh, as you can see from all the condensation there on the uh, lid, that uh, they're putting out a lot of moisture and uh, they're baking away. I'm going to use my, uh, I'm going to use, you know, my uh, instant read thermometer to make sure they're done in the middle. They've been in there, I, I think it's been about an hour now that they've been in there, so uh, they might be getting pretty close to done here. So I'm going to check them and then we'll see what they look like. All right, so, you know, I tested uh, a bunch of them with my instant read thermometer there and, uh, they all hit at least 190 when I tested them, so that means that they're perfectly done, safe to eat. I'm going to pull them out here, and I'm going to get another batch uh, going here in the sun oven. Well, there you have it. Some beautiful little falafel muffins. Now, these I did take out of the sun oven, and then I put them in my toast oven for, you know, about another 10 minutes to finish them off and get that nice browning around the edges, because um, the sun went away. <laughs> so... You know, and you also don't get so much browning in the sun oven, but uh, I got this second batch taken care of perfectly fine. The first batch I did completely in the sun oven. And I also made a little teeny batch of mini muffins out of them. This batch I also threw in a banana into the mix uh, before I put them in the muffin tins because one of my kids wanted some banana muffins. So, you know, I put a banana in. It's a pretty flexible base. You know, you can make just about any kind of muffin you want that's suitable for Passover and they, they really are delicious my kids just grab them for a snack you know when they want one it's one of the go-to things that we love about Passover so eat in good health L'chaim and take care